A common file format, DWG files are often used to store the contours of topographical maps. These 2D contours can be imported into Vectorworks and used to create a 3D site model from scratch. To do so, first import the DWG as you would any other, via File, Import, Import Single DXF DWG. The majority of these settings should be left at their defaults, with two exceptions. 1. Set Convert Objects to All 2D. We'll be adding the z-height to contours manually, and normally these DWGs are 2D only data anyway. And number two, if you know the scale of the DWG, you should select it here. If not, determine automatically may be able to guess the proper scale, but this can be corrected after import via the scale objects command as well if need be. After importing the DWG, you should take a look at the contours and clean up anything that might be amiss. The three most common issues you may encounter are incomplete or disconnected contours, extraneous geometry that can just be removed, and overlapping contours. Some contours may come in incomplete, leaving gaps in the geometry that may cause Vectorworks to see them as two separate contours. These can be easily selected by first selecting one partial contour, then using Edit, Select Connected Objects to select the rest, and then Modify, Compose to combine them into one 2D poly. Extraneous geometry, which can either come from the original DWG or have been accidentally included afterwards, can and should be removed manually before the conversion of 2D polys to 3D contours. Overlapping contours must be corrected manually. This can either be done manually before converting the 2D polys to contours, or you can use Validate 3D Data to locate issues on the 3D contours directly. This second method is more automated and preferable if you have a large number of contours that make manual checking difficult. After the geometry has been cleaned up, select all of the 2D contours and use Survey Input, 2D Polys to 3D Contours, as you would if you had drawn the contours yourself. The order it highlights the contours in may not be from lowest to highest or from outside to inside, so make sure you enter the proper Z height for the contour that is currently highlighted. Once that's done, you can usually fly over and verify that your contours look about as you expect before creating the site model from them. Any errors can be corrected manually by selecting the incorrect contour and manually altering its Z height in the Object Info Palette. Afterwards, Survey Input, Create Site Model, and then you'll have your 3D interactive site model made from an imported 2D DWG. Thank you for joining us, and don't forget to visit kbase.vectorworks.net for more video tech tips and other technical articles. Thank you, and have a great day.